Nostalgia can be a powerful thing. And in the sure hands of Machine Games, the team behind last year's smash hit, Wolfenstein The New Order, it's a very powerful thing indeed. Wolfenstein The Old Blood is dripping with history. In the opening moments of the standalone game, players actually get to see Castle Wolfenstein, this monument to gaming history. As BJ Blazkowicz, you'll get to explore Castle Wolfenstein all the way from the dank underbelly up to the grand chambers and richly appointed libraries. Early on, you'll only be armed with a pipe, BJ's newest tool. You could use it to climb walls or reach high hatches, even break through some weak areas. You could also single or dual wield this melee weapon to take down Nazi after Nazi after Nazi. Set in the 1940s, two decades before the New Order, the Old Blood is overrun with a heaping helping of retro Nazi goons. One that you'll meet is this early prototype super soldier who's tethered to a power source. You could try to sneak by, or you could find the power source, turn it off, and try to rush in and take him down before the power comes back on. Some levels are heavy on the stealth, others treat you to these all-out firefights. Good thing you've got a whole new arsenal of weapons at your disposal. My favorite, the shock hammer, this heavy double barrel semi-auto shotgun. The Old Blood is divided into two parts. The first half, called Rudy Yeager and the Den of Wolves, is set in the castle. The second half, titled The Dark Secrets of Helga von Schabs, is set in the nearby town of Wolfburg. It's here that you'll meet the undead. Unlike the typical undead, some will actually carry guns and others will come rushing at you. With a retro feeling story and a B-movie vibe, the Old Blood is a throwback to what makes shooters great. It's got all the atmosphere, all the character we've come to expect from Wolfenstein, thanks to last year's stellar reboot. But this time, we've gone back in time to tell a lighter story with a brisker pace. New Nazi goons, new weapons, new gameplay, and a return to the infamous castle. Together, it's not just a trip back in time, but a total trip for gamers, whether you played the originals or not.